Hey guys, it's Jen from I Create Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how to make these cute little scarecrows just in time for fall. To create this project, you're just going to need a few items. I just have a board that I had laying around. You cut it at whatever size you want. A one by two to make the hat. Some paint brushes. A paper plate or something to put your paint on. And paints for whatever, whatever colors you choose. I just picked these up at Walmart and then I used an embellishment, just this flower here that I purchased at um, the dollar store, and then last, my nail gun to put my hat on. Next, you're gonna wanna use your foam brush and use whatever color you choose to make your scarecrow. I'm just taking this tan color that I purchased from um, Walmart and putting some on a paper plate. And just go liberally wherever you want the color to go. I was doing it kinda just all over. I like the little bit of whitewash behind the, the color, so that's what I did. Next, you're gonna wanna make the brim for the hat. Um, I already have this stained and for the sake of the video, I just already cut mine out to the size that I wanted. And you can see, you just put it on an angle a little bit and you see the top part, you want to paint that a different color. So I just chose a little bit of a darker brown color for the top part of the hat. And then color the rest of it in with the darker color. Doesn't matter if your seams don't match up, your brim of the hat is going to cover it. Then you take the brim of the hat and then take your staple gun or your air gun, whatever you have, and just staple it down a few times so it sticks. If you don't have this, you can always use hot glue and then the E6000 glue that would hold it down pretty well, but I just like to use the staple gun since I have it. For the next part, I enlisted my very talented daughter, Lily, to help me with this. Um, normally, I would use my Cricut machine and cut it out, but this project, I wanted to have her help me with it and do it by hand. So she is going to be painting the face on for me, and she does a really great job with this one. And here she's just finishing up, putting some highlights on and making it look alive. Okay, so you can see my daughter did a really awesome job painting this. I definitely could not do it. So I have some fabric that I had left over from another project. So everything from this project was all left over. So I have this fabric, and I kinda wanna do a scarf on him. So I'm just gonna take the bottom part of it, where it angles off, kinda like grab, see if I can find the middle of it, like this. And then I'll just cut it off, and then I can glue it on the back. So now I kinda know where I wanna cut it, so I'm just gonna take the scissors, take my scissors and just cut it roughly where I just had it. So there. So now I just have a little tiny bandana to put on them. And then I'll grab my glue and then I'll glue them on. Maybe you want to play around with it. Maybe you want it on the side a little bit. Or maybe not so long. I'm just gonna play around with this until I get the size that I want. Kinda like it how I flipped it a little bit like that, if you can see that. And if it was long enough, maybe. We'll try and see. Maybe I can tie it instead of gluing it, or maybe do both. I'll tie it, and then I'll take some glue and I will glue it down. There. So there. I'm kind of put it to the side, but that looks pretty good. So I'll just take some glue and then I'll glue this down so it stays a little bit thick better. And then I also have a flower, again from another project, and I'll just glue it here. Just like that. But see how cute and easy this is? It's a really awesome project. You don't need a Cricut machine or anything to do this. You can use paints or markers, or even if you have a Cricut machine, you can cut the eyes out and the face out. But it's just a really simple project to do. Um, after the whole thing is finished, I will take some sealer and I'll spray it on here so I can leave this outside for all year long. But it's simple and easy project. I hope you enjoyed this project and enjoy making your own little scarecrows. If you haven't already, please subscribe and thumbs up.